So, hey, everybody, it's Shelby again, and I am with a really interesting man that I've gotten to know in the last couple couple years, it feels like, um, Bob Smurl with the Smurl Insurance Agency. Thank you for coming to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. This is so fun. Bob, the other day, you and I were at one of our networking groups, and you were the speaker, and I was really... Um, uh, interested in what you had to share about certificates of insurance for contractors right now with um, whether it's a homeowner that's getting ready to get their house ready for the market or if it's someone who's bought a home and needs to get work done or even if you aren't selling or buying and you're just COVID crazy right now and you are fixing your house because you're stuck in it we've got a lot of contractors that are coming into the homes and you talked about this this certificate of insurance that I bet you a lot of homeowners don't know about. So I would like you to share a little bit about what that is and why it's important. And I think you can even screen shave, shave uh, screen share and show us what it looks like. Yeah, certificate of insurance really is just a one page document that you get from the from the contractor or whoever's coming into your home. And it just proves that they really are a good, uh, you know, they are a business and that they have insurance that's, that's there. It's a snapshot. It's not a contract. It's just a snapshot of that one day. But it proves that they do have insurance and someone else is issuing it to say, yeah, it's not just them saying it. And um, I didn't want to do quickly to show you a sample certificate um here and some of the things you want to look for can you see my screen there okay i can yes sir okay so at the top this is my information as the insurance agent that should be on there a list of the companies that are on there and this should be the contractor's name and it should read the way you're doing business with them so if you hi hire you know harry jones then it should say harry jones in there if you hire jones contracting then it should say jones contracting you shouldn't be hiring harry jones Jones and it says Smith contracting on there and you're saying wait where did that come from no it should be that contractor's name that you're doing business with it should list their coverages here a big one you want to see is the general liability you'd like to see workers compensation but it doesn't uh, apply to everyone so you may not see that in there and then down here the really big thing is certificate holder that's you the person who's hiring the contractor that's where you want to see your name. You don't want to see this sample or, you know, Joe's plumbing or something else that's in there that's that's not you. You want to see your name in there. Okay. So that so knows that knows that the, the certificate, you also up top, you want to see today's date up here at the top so that it says, you know, it actually has today's date. It wasn't something that he had prepared three weeks ago or three years ago or whatever. It's got current dates here. And we're, like I said, really important, has your name in there. It's free. We issue them for our contractor clients all the time. We don't charge them for it. It takes, you know, at most it takes two hours. Sometimes if you order it late in the day, it might not get there till the next day. So, you know, 12 hours, but, you know, they, they come out quickly and there's no reason for them not to be able to get you that. It's like I said, it's free. It's a free service that we provide and, you know, they should have them. Now I have a couple questions to follow sure. up to this. So um, we're doing a big remodel. So I, I've got a GC general contractor that's going to be using an electrician and using a painter and using a framer and all these different individuals that are gonna be coming into my house. Should, am I covered just by my general contractor and having his general liability sheet or should I go back and say, okay, GC, all the different people that you have, I wanna be listed as additional insured on all of your subcontractor certificate of insurance as well. Like yeah, what if I someone falls down and gets hurt in my house? What, yeah. what happens then? Yeah, and see, that's it. That's 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 the reason why you want to. I would prefer to have it from everybody. A simple certificate okay. from everybody. Again, it's not that big of a deal. It takes them, a, you know, a, a two minute phone call to their insurance agent, and they can email it right to you quickly. And like I say, in a matter of hours, it can be at your house. So it's not a big thing to require a certificate of insurance. And what you're talking about, what if somebody gets hurt? You know, the painter kicks over the paint can and spills paint on your carpet. Who's gonna to pay mm -hmm. to clean your carpet or replace your carpet now that it's 
now that, that it's damaged by the paint. Yeah, your homeowner's policy might cover that, but do you really want to put on a, a claim on your homeowner's policy for something that somebody else did? Not necessarily. When that guy kicks over the paint can, he falls down the steps and now he's got a broken leg. He can't work. <laughs> yeah, he can't work. And he comes after you to say, hey, I can't work. I was employed by you. You say, no, look, I've got this certificate. You, you know, it's your problem. And okay. that's, by the way, that's not made up. I had that claim. Okay. All the right. The painter tripped over the can, fell down the steps and came back at the, the homeowner for it. Yeah. So let me ask you, um, <clears throat> if you, if you're going to have extensive work done as a homeowner, should you do something? Obviously they should call and let you know that, uh, uh, let your insurance agent know that you've done an addition, you've done whatever, because you want to ensure that extra part of your house. But should we get any other type of policy while that work's being done to cover ourselves in case someone were to get hurt and come after us? It really depends on the situation, how much work you have into it. And if it's simple bathroom renovation, so I'm going to take the bathroom I have and take some of the appliances out and put new ones in, it's not such a big deal. You should call us ahead of time. Too many times I get the call from folks that were 90% way of the way done for their basement refinish and they had a you know they had a concrete box before and now they've got carpets and drywall and everything and they're 90 percent of the way finished and they have a problem and they call me and say well i was going to call you when it was done it's like yeah but now it's not covered you should have called me in the beginning so it's you know every situation is different it just behooves you to call first and and find out if you're putting on a big addition it maybe you know, may, maybe want to buy a builder's risk policy that covers the cost of the while it's under construction oh, most homeowners okay. policies most ho homeowners policies will cover that you just have to notify the company that it's coming but you know again it's a, it's a thing that have the conversation and let's find out what your situation is and whether we need something or not. So Bob, I can't end this without putting in a plug for you and have you give them an opportunity to just tell them how to contact you in case they have questions. Maybe they just wanna get their current insurance checked out and see if you can, as a broker, what you have available to maybe assist them. So how can you be reached? Sure, give us a call at 215-997-9440. Look us up on Facebook. It's just face, it's Smurl Insurance. Or on our website, it's Smurl, S-M-Y-R-L dash insurance.com. Guys, I got to tell you, I get to hang out with this man every single week at one of my networking groups. And he's always got a very informative 30 second to one minute you know, little tidbit of, of knowledge and you've been in the industry for years and years and years and you really do know your stuff and I just truly yeah. respect you, Bob. And I thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you, Shelby. It's great to be with you. All right, guys, call him if you need him. Have a great day. Take care.